Welcome to KCC Revision Channel. Uh, teacher James Marita, Creole Spoils High School. Subscribe my channel. Click the notification bell. You get notified once I upload a new video. We are looking at uh, a KCC Revision Biology Essays. The commonly questions which are set in the paper 2, uh, section T. It normally carries 20 marks. Learn biology from the, your comfort zone. We are looking the functions of the various parts of the mammalian heart. To start with, we have a vena cava. So we have this is a vena cava. And what is this function? It brings in a plant rich in carbon dioxide to the lungs from upper parts of the body. The upper parts of the body, it normally consists of the head and the arms. So the functions of the, the superior pet vena cover, it's to bring in blood rich in carbon dioxide to the lungs from the, the, the upper parts of the body, that is the head and the arms. Then we have the uh, pulmonary artery, it transports blood rich in carbon dioxide from a right ventricle to the lungs. That is its function. So this function here is just to transport a blood rich in carbon dioxide from uh, the right ventricle to the lungs. Then we have the pulmonary valve, that is the semilunar valve. The semilunar valve, it prevents pack flow of blood from pulmonary artery into the right ventricle. So this blood may be, may be flowing back. So the, to be prevented from flowing back uh, from the pulmonary artery, we have the semilunar valve. So it prevents the pack flow of the blood. We have also the right atrium. The right atrium now receives blood rich in carbon dioxide from all other parts, body parts, from all other parts of the body. So those uh, uh, blood rich in carbon dioxide from all the, 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 the body parts are received uh, through the right atrium. We have three caspid valve. Tricuspid valve, it prevents pack flow of uh, blood from right ventricle to the right atrium. Then we have another part is the inverio vena cava. Uh, this one brings in blood rich in carbon dioxide to the right atrium from the lower parts of the body. Then we have the right ventricles. The right ventricles uh, receives blood rich in carbon dioxide from right atrium and pumps it to the lungs. So that is its function. It normally re receives blood rich in carbon dioxide, uh, carbon, carbon dioxide from right atrium and the pump seat to the lungs. Then we have the outer, the outer is here, as you can see at the screen, the outer, it is function is transport uh, blood rich in oxygen from the heart, uh, branching to all of body parts. So you can see the difference between the superior pena cava and the outer. The superior vena cava, it brings in blood rich in carbon dioxide and the outer transports a uh, blood rich in oxygen from the heart branching to all other body parts. We have the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein brings in blood rich in oxygen from lungs to the left atrium. So you can see now the heart is divided it, has, it is divided into two. We have the right side and the left side. We have the left atrium, receives blood 
rich in oxygen from the lungs. Then we have the picaspid uh, valve. This picaspid valve is here. So this one, it prevents back flow of uh, blood from left ventricle to the left atrium. We have the autic valve, that is the semilunar valve. Semilunar valve, it prevents pack flow of blood from other into the left uh, ventricle, that is its function. We have the codi, the tendon, that is the tendons that prevents the caspid valve from palliging, uh, palliging into the atrium or turning just inside out. Then we have the left ventricle. The left ventricle, it receives blood rich in oxygen from the left auricle, then it pumps it to all um, body parts at the high pressure. Then finally we have the, inter the interventricular, that is the septum, prevents blood rich in oxygen from mixing with, uh, with that rich in carbon dioxide. So these are the various parts of the, the functions of the various parts of the human heart. In the most cases, this question is normally set in a, in a, in a it is, comes an essay. And when it comes an essay, there is no need for a candidate just to draw the diagram, but you, you candidate should know the various parts of the, this human heart and also how the various parts are adapted to their function, how the superior vena cava adapted to this function, how the pulmonary vein adapted to this function, how the pulmonary valve adapted to this function, all like that, all through, up to where we have the right ventricles, how is it adapted to this function of receiving blood rich in carbon dioxide. So those are some of the things a candidate you should have in your fingertip for, to, for you to answer this question well. There is no need of drawing a diagram when just writing an essay. Just have the points, the various parts of it is, uh, the various parts and the dysfunction and how they are adapted to their function. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, watch and share.